Hola, my name's Michaela Guzzi, reporting for Peter Greenberg Worldwide. After a three-legged flight on Taka Airlines, we finally arrived in the Sacred Valley of Peru, which was formed by the Villa Canada River, sacred to the Incas because it mirrored the Milky Way. While many aspects of the Incan culture remain mysterious, they did leave behind masterful architecture, colorful dress, and unique culinary traditions. We'll be sampling and sipping ceviche, fruit you've never heard of, and guinea pig. Come on, let's eat. En una fresca mañana, que luego ha de in 1641, Spain banned the importation of wine from the New World and created a brandy called Pisco. We're here at the Museo del Pisco for a tasting. Our favorite Pisco was the Encanto paired with alpaca. For late night drinks and dancing, go to the new Collier di Medio to sample 37 different types of infused pisco. We're at the San Pedro Central Food Market where you can come have lunch or do your grocery shopping. This is a noni. This fruit has been known to cure cancer. We're on the Hiram Bingham train from Machu Picchu to Cusco. The menus are designed by chef Virgilio Martinez, who also has a restaurant called Central in Lima. Afterwards, we're going to be having peaceful hours and a little bit of dancing in the bar cart. Executive chef Pedro Miguel owns one of the hottest restaurants in Lima called Malabar, and he's teamed up with Aqua Expeditions to take their guests on a culinary journey down the Amazon. Central in Lima by Chef Virgilio takes local ingredients and fuses them with traditional indigenous recipes with cuisines from across the globe. Whether you're sipping pisco in Cusco, tasting ceviche in Lima, guinea pig in the Sacred Valley, or piranha soup in the Amazon, old is new again when it comes to kitchens around Peru. This is Michaela Guzzi reporting for Peter Greenberg Worldwide.